got some. Yo, ladies, why y'all be doing that? I want to know why y'all be doing that. You see me minding my business, you just going to spank me on the cheeks. Why? That doesn't do it for me. I'm chilling on the bed. You're going to walk by and grab my butt. Oh, but you do it to me. There's a difference. There is a difference because I be back there. You don't have no business back there. So leave my license plate alone. I got a special guest for you. <laughs> oh, <Lord laughs> Gina. Okay, Ben Sam, I don't do nasty. Don't worry, it's crazy, guys. I'm a nasty. I'm trying to clean up your enemy. <sighs> do y'all know who that young lady is? I know some of y'all fellas gonna know who that young lady is. Ladies, if we put that young lady in the same room with your man, he gonna fold like some fresh laundry. I'll say her name so you can Google it. That is Tiana Trump. Just a little friendly reminder since some people are still confused. <laughs> if you're not from Brooklyn, Queens, <laughs> Manhattan, Staten Island, <laughs> even the Bronx, Y'all a little questionable, but the Bronx, y'all still here with us. You're not from NYC. Cut it out. You're from upstate. Okay. That's going to ruffle a lot of feathers. There's a lot of us people from New York City, you know what I mean? The boroughs who go out of state and see people misrepresenting themselves. Now, I ain't saying upstate ain't popping. At the same time, bro, y'all niggas got horses. Cut it out. We ain't, we ain't trying to hear that. Let me tell y'all a brief story. When I first came out here for school and I moved to the dorms, one of the RAs was from New York. I used to always hear people throw out, oh, you got to get your room together? Yo, go see New York. So I used to always hear them motherfuckers Call him New York. I had a conversation with him one day. Hey, bro, what's good? Where you from? From New York. I'm like, where? Yeah, I'm from Brooklyn. What part of New York you from? He said, Ethica. I'm gonna be honest with you, right? Friggin from the boroughs is real ignorant to other parts of New York. So when he said Ethica, I'm like, what the f is that? You feel me? But I ain't even say it out loud. When he just said it. I gave him that look, and he knew. He knew what that look meant. That look meant stop faking the funk, bro. There's people from the South, when they hear you from New York, they think you from the city. They thinking that you was living what they was hearing on these rap songs. They That's what they thinking, bro. But you wasn't moving like that. You wasn't living. You didn't grow up like that. Listen, if you going out of state, tell me. Cause I'm from upstate New York. Don't tell folks you from New York City. You're not from New York City. So you were behind my back? Yeah. I'm grown. I'm old enough now. I feel like I got the right to do that. So I just wanted to get a test and see what this is my daddy. And so you called him? Yeah, I called him. He was like, um, he thought I was his son. <laughs> so that means that. I don't, we don't see nothing funny. Nah, 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 nah. nah. But, but see, I told you that was your dad. I, 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 first, of all, I, first of all, that is your dad. I don't know what's going on. I, I don't know who you took the test with. And what you had going on, but that, that's your dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It sounds good, but look. I'm just saying. It sounds good. Nah, that's the result. The result is saying what it's saying now. Nah. I ain't gonna lie, boy, no disrespect to you and your mama, but your mama talking fast as hell like she done got caught in some bullshit. <laughs> I, 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 I told you that was your daddy. I, I told you that was that. Why y'all be doing that, bro? If there's any confusion, go ahead and take the test, man. Go ahead and take the test if you're confused on who your baby daddy is. Don't nobody deserve that pain of raising a child and then later on finding out it's not theirs. I, I, I can't lie. I can't fake no results. Now, if you had something going on and the man that was my daddy... First of all, you can have the results behind my back. That's what you didn't have the results on. Yeah, yeah, but I just feel like... She I trying to pull rank. like that. I knew something was over. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I wanted to go get my results and, and see what's going on. Stay in your ground. Let me tell you something. It's okay. You know, I'm, I'm old enough, I understand. Now, if, it, if, if my real dad ain't want to take care of me, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and see, it, something better left my set. Oh, okay. You should just left like it was. I ain't tell you, I told you that was your daddy. You should have went right on with it all these years. You 18 years old, 19 years old now. You, it's not you see, he shouldn't have added that. If my real daddy didn't want to take care of me, then he shouldn't have added that. You gave her a way out. 
The type of love that you have for a child, especially if you've been there from the beginning, because I've been there since my son came out the womb, son. Since my son came out the poom poom, I was there. I wrapped him up in that little blanket. I saw them when they put him on the scale and weighed him. I gave him his nickname. I'm like, what's up, champ? What's up, champ? He squeezed my index finger with his little last hands. I was there for all that. So imagine being there for all that. And then seven, eight years later, you find out that that's not yours. Listen, man, shout out to every man who has taken care of a child and found out that that child was not biologically his and did not crash out. Why is it that the older women are competing with the younger generation? You guys are competing for the same men. You guys are competing to run and go get the same look, the same BBLs. You would be surprised how many 50 and 60 year olds I, I have seen go run and get BBLs. You guys are competing to Ooh. see... 50 and 60 with a BBL is crazy. At 50 and 60, I don't think gravity on your side. For you to be putting that BBL up in there. It's too late, man. The foundation is already set. Who gets to the club the fastest. It's like, instead of the older women imparting knowledge and wisdom on the younger generation, you guys are competing with them. They just hit their adulthood. They just hit their womanhood. And you guys are competing with them. Instead of giving them the wisdom and the knowledge that they need. Because these young girls, they need guidance. And this is what we face with. We face with the, the grandmoms being the new thoughts now. Listen, the grandmoms don't even want to watch the grandchildren no more. They want to go down to the club. <laughs> like, seriously. This is what we're faced with? Can we have the women of the generation to stand up again and to impart wisdom and knowledge on the youth? This is what we face with. We got to do better. This is just my opinion. So if you disagree with me, please feel free to say so in the comment section. But I do feel as though the hip hop generation is a generation that does not want to grow old. I'm saying that for both women and men. As a young man, I realized that growing up, I was in competition with again, that grew up in the 80s. They were in their 20s in the 80s. They got older and they don't want to let it go. And you can see how it's affecting the younger generation. The younger generation don't have anybody to really guide them like that because the old heads, they still want to be the young niggas on the corner. Now, as far as the ladies is concerned, I do feel as though a lot of the stuff with the ladies is more social media generated. A lot of these older women are on social media and they're seeing how these young girls are maneuvering and how they're dressing and the type of attention that they're getting from men and they are still trying to relive their glory years. I'm gonna end with this. I seen a video, this older lady was on Instagram, she was dancing and she was in a hospital room and her husband was laid up in the bed looking like he had one foot inside her gates of heaven, meaning that he was on his way out. Instead of her laying there comforting her husband, she was on TikTok making dances in some leggings, showing poom poom print. Now this woman had to have been upper 50s, early 60s. She did look good for her age, but it was amazing to me to see her making TikTok dances when her husband looked like he was on his way up out of here. Tell us about the one that got away. Feels like less he got away and I never gave him the chance to to come in. Someone I I was friends with for a long time, fell really deeply in love with and just never Y'all ever looked at somebody and just know that they would try anything once? I still know it's a few of y'all that watch these videos religiously that aren't subscribed. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram. And make sure you got the notification bell selected to all. That way you can get all the notifications when I upload these videos. Stop playing with me. Hit that subscribe button. Let's get right. I thought I was worth being with him. Mm -hmm. I never shared my desires. And our paths diverged. Um, and I... I feel so sad that me feeling confident in myself never overlapped with the time in which I would have wanted to share with him my desire. I think at the moment that I realized that there was never going to be a chance for us, I felt some relief, I think, because I'd always clung to the idea of what if, what if, what if. 
um, and finally releasing that created space for other things to come in for me. And what is the biggest thing that you've learned from this experience? Always share my desire. My desire is a gift, especially and always when it is offered without the need for anything to be reciprocated. I feel as though he missed out. She won me over with the things she was saying. I do know a story of a family member who was married, had kids, had grandkids, but still constantly thinks about her ex-boyfriend. And the reason why her and her ex-boyfriend did not get together was because he went away to the army and died. I don't know how y'all feel. I don't want to get too romantic, but I feel as though you only truly love one time. Everything else after that is just an experience of life. Now, I'm not saying you're not going to love your new partner. You are going to love your new partner. But it's never going to be the same as the first person that you love. Let the timer start now. Really what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up this photo in Photoshop. Because in Photoshop, I can sit here and mess with the light levels to see if there's anything in the background of the photo. You can see right here, there is a menu. I think that's going to be our biggest clue. We also have this thing where the light is sitting in. So when we're looking for the table, that's going to be good. We also have this kind of like patterned wood grain. So this is all distinct things that we're going to be looking for. Since this is the DNG file, it's the raw file. I'm going to see if the uncropped photo is still saved. What the hell is he doing? It is. Okay. And we get more menu. We do get more menu in the original photo. So this is actually very helpful. I think this right here is an I. This is like a capital M that's like really bold like that. And this right here is an X. You can see right here this different coloring. It outlines exactly an X. So I think the last three letters of the menu of this restaurant are X, I, M. Okay, so I can see from his tweets that his most likely place he's always in a lot, from what I've seen, is in Hong Kong. So this is what we have to work with right now, is X, I, M in Hong Kong. With its mix, and it is reverted, that could definitely be the case. In the mixing room. Oh, look at that. There you go. That's the same candle right there. That's definitely the table. All right. He was sitting in this seat right here, or like one seat to the left of that, in the mixing room in Hong Kong. Bro, he found exactly where this person was at in 34 minutes, just off of a, a crop picture. This is serial killer behavior. Yeah, I might say this is James Bond spy-ish. Oh, fuck that. Again, this is serial killer behavior. This is why you gotta be careful what you post and where you post it. Wow, that's your love. That's your phone? That's my laptop. Mm, somebody's messaging you. Oh, what are you doing live with that? Oh. <laughs> Somebody. <laughs> <laughs> he saw it too! Like, you gotta. I see you working with something there. Oh, he wouldn't let it be wow, known. That... Yo, that's how it be. That's how it be. <laughs> that was a genuine uh, reaction right there. That's how it be. Talk. You might have been talking to a chick for years, bro. Y'all might be friends. Y'all might just be cool. And then one day, one day, bro, she might wear something or she might move a certain type of way. And you might see them yams. And you ain't even know she had yammers like that. And now your whole equilibrium f***ed up. Your whole perception f***ed up. Now you're trying to step out the friend zone. Something simple like that could change your goals for the friendship. Yes, ladies, that's how it be. My wife used to tell me that too. She'd be cool with people when we was in school. would be respectful. And then out of nowhere, it went from being respectful, being cordial to, yo, so, you know, when we going on a date? Hold on, she just walked in the house. Yo, that's crazy. Every time I be talking to her, she'd she just be randomly walking in the crib. Y'all hear that? See? Let me call her downstairs right quick. Hello. Hey, you want to come downstairs? I was just talking about you. What were you saying? Just come downstairs. I'll show you the video and then... Okay. All right. That's funny. What's up, boy? Sit what in. first? Come sit. What happened? We got to a Barnes & Noble's hall. So I went down to the Barnes & Noble's. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We definitely not doing that on my video. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Whoa. This ain't, this ain't that. This ain't, it could be, though. This ain't, 
this, oh, this, my bag. I got that bag for free. No, this ain't that. Go get y'all membership. This at ain't this ain't that. Free tote bag. This ain't that. Okay, all right. This all ain't right. that. All right. Okay. All right now. Come on, come sit on daddy lap. Come on. Jeez Louise. Come here, sit on daddy lap. All right. So. <laughs> Did I see this one? Wow, that shit loud. That's your phone? That's my laptop. Mm. Somebody's <laughs> messaging you. Oh, what are you doing live with that? Somebody. Excuse me. I see you work with something like you got a. She got so too, huh? <laughs> she went back to show. I see too, you man. working with something there. Oh, I wow, didn't see that. it. She have an ass? Yeah, she there was talking and then she left and she moved to the side. Oh, she was laying on her stomach? And them cheeks made a guest appearance and my boy said... Oh, I missed it. I was stupid looking at her face. Really? Yeah, I didn't see her butt. At all? Well, her face left the, 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 the screen. And I was looking at the wall. When she, when she did this, I was looking at the wall. I mean, I'm a little gay, but I'm not <laughs> gay gay. I didn't, I didn't see her. Alright, so I was talking about how that's how it be. How you might be talking to somebody and then it take one time and then your whole goal change, your motives change. And I was talking about me and you. When was the time that your motive changed? I don't, I think we, we was in the lunchroom. Because I'm trying to figure out, because you remember we had that conversation, but when we had that conversation, we had that conversation like months after my motives changed. Because remember... When we started talking, we used to talk every day, but I wasn't trying to holler at you. I was, I was trying to hook you up with, with Fernando. You wasn't trying to... You never even talked about Fernando. We yes, just we started. did. I used to talk about Fernando all the time. I used to like, yo, why are you playing games with my boy? No, you never talked about Oh, my God. I don't, okay, I don't recall. I remember our conversations just being like, we just talking about whatever, and then you put me on whole, like, did your push-ups, and your, your whole workout routine. Okay. And I used to just wait for you to finish. You get back on the phone, and then we talk about... Stuff you did throughout the day. Sometimes you be telling me about your your girlfriends or girls you was talking to. Okay. Playing basketball, stuff like that, or like music we would talk about. I don't remember you ever talking about. Bro, I used to. Fernando. I swear I used to talk about Nando, bro. Like I, I used to. How long we stayed on that topic? A few, pretty long. I blame you. Why you why you be playing games with my men? You like I ain't playing games. We playing games. He. He got me. <laughs> yeah. He don't be calling me. I ain't trying to be out here. I ain't chasing him. I, ain't I said that. Out. Yeah, he's like, I ain't trying to be out here looking stupid. I was really that girl. Yeah, bro. Like, Even back then, zip, yo. Whatever. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. I'm chasing I, these niggas. And I really I, like I, that nigga, but I ain't chasing no nigga. Oh, she going in. Going I'm just in. saying, I did have a crush, but like still, my pride wouldn't let me. It ain't there no more. It's been dead and gone. You know that. Obviously, yeah. I'm just saying. But yeah, bro, and then I'm trying to figure out when it happened. Let me I'm, tell you, when I, I knew it happened, this is how I knew. Because he, like I said, he used to talk to me about his little girlfriends and situations he had. And then he kept on starting to use me as an example. Like, yeah, if you was my girl, then I would do such and such and such and such. And I'm like, if I was your girl, why are you putting mm. me in these scenarios? Like, I'm supposed to be the bystander in the audience sipping tea, eating popcorn. And he, like, you did it a couple of times. I was like, hold on, let me just ask him straight up and down because I was that girl. What's up? What's tea? Things are changing. When I say that girl, it's just like, I should be wanting to know what's up. I'm not that girl like, oh, yeah, of course he want me. But it's just like, the the vibe has changed. I don't like gray areas. Let me just yeah, it's fine. triple check. We was, yeah. I, don't, I feel as though it was... It started in the lunchroom. Because I, I do remember one day we was just chilling how we usually chill. And I was like, damn, she pretty as hell. I didn't even know the nails was pretty. And then that was that. And then the another time, we was in the gym. Yeah, you know where that you know where this going. And you remember them velour um sweatpants? Yes. Yeah, Cheeks was going to work on them velour sweatpants. Just <laughs> I was like, oh shit! Everybody, almost everybody in our school had a butt though. Like, yeah, it was a, it was a lot of cheeks. I was not thinking like, oh my god, yeah, my cheeks fucking stand so, out. But I remember, these- yo, I remember freaking. Um, this was before we even was talking like that. I remember Femi had came downstairs, like, cause you remember y'all had um yoga, yeah, yoga, 
and Femi was the only <laughs> he was That's the only guy went to in a yoga. charter school. What other school in Brooklyn, you know, had yoga? That didn't last long though, but we had it for a little minute. He was the only guy in the yoga in the yoga class, and we like, bro, really, bro? We out here hooping and doing all this like your stuff and oh. Did your white side take over? I, I, I've been hanging with around. the ER? Yeah, I've been hanging around. You be letting them take around? Oh, you just... No, you see? Oh, okay. I just how, how the because you said the... you you said you hanging around white people and <laughs> now you saying with the hard ER like because I, I was that? trying not to damn when you say when you put the N word and stuff together it comes out like that I was trying not to say yeah, she can see how it came out yeah, she can and and mm. that's not that's how it's supposed to sound that's I'm how it's supposed to sound but stuff. Mm. Anyway, mm -hmm. um, whew. uh, what I was saying, yeah. So he came, he came downstairs like, bro, I ain't gonna lie. There's some hidden gems in that yoga class. There's some things that I ain't know existed in that yoga class. And then he, he brought you up. He like, y'all, the name, sheesh. It was you. It was Ciamaro, but we kind of knew about Ciamaro. Somebody else in that yoga class that he was like, bro, yeah, Clara. Nah, that was, that was Clara was skinny. Clara got a butt though for her to Courtney. be skinny. It's Courtney. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, it, yeah, it was you, CMR, Courtney. All the short girls. <laughs> All the girls under 5'2". Yeah, you, CMR. 5'2 <laughs> and under. Oh, and uh, um, just the last one. But she, <laughs> the, the Jamaican girl. Who? All the big eyes. Who? Oh, I forgot her name, dog. Oh, Sadia? No, 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 no. Oh, yeah, he said something, but she Haitian. Oh, yes. Yeah, but anyway, Haitian. yeah. So that that's when we. But I never, I still never paid attention to you like that. Is is that why you don't like you don't want me to have male friends? What you talking about? Cause you feel like you know they gonna fuck around and like see my beauty after a while. Cause that's how I got you. Or that's how you got caught up. No. Oh. Having a male friend while you're in a relationship, I think that shit is kind of out there. No, but I mean... Like, if it's a couple type thing, like... I'm talking about even you type of nigga that y'all make it official, you still don't want that person to have the male friend she had before she met you. Do Because do you feel like any, any given point in time that it could just be nah, like... Nah, no. Hey, whoa, whoa. No, 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 no. See? No, no. We're not... Don't put that smut on my name. I just feel it's certain shit. I feel as though it should be off limits when you're in a relationship. Certain stuff is off limits. I can give you prime example because I know where you going with this. Go ahead. You went. You going back to New York and going to dinner with your quote unquote male friend. That's crazy. I didn't go to dinner with yes, you. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. No, you. Yes, you did. No, I was at his house mad late, and you. Curse that was when out. we was in college. You was at his house mad late when we was in college, and I cursed you out. But later on, after college, you would go back to New York and visit. Oh, I met such and such in downtown. We went to eat and da 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 da. I'd be like, oh, I yeah, we did. Yeah, I, I never really said nothing, but like I'm like, all right, cool. Well, if that's the case, if if you gonna be, if y'all gonna continue our friendship, then shit, we all gonna be friends. Yeah, that's cool. We and then me and friends. him became more cool than y'all. No, I intentionally backed the fuck up. Cause Why? Because me and him was getting cool? No, because I tried to hear your mouth. Everything was a problem. What are you talking about? I stopped. I never. Yo, what are you talking about? Go in, you just said it. I'm like, oh, I can't go out to eat. We, no, I can't nah, talk nah, to this hold nigga. On, like, hold on. Yo, just like, son, not... no, you're definitely, you're, you're, no. You be creating memories of shit that you, how you want to remember shit. Okay. After that, I never had a problem with it. After me and Jerome got cool, like, I never had a problem with, I just felt it was weird. But then after we got cool, I was like, oh, all right. Like, oh, I'm about to meet him downtown. I'm like, oh, all right. Oh, me, him, and Martin about to go. I'm like, oh, all right. Whatever. Okay. When his mans try to holler at you and I try to do what I was trying to do or whatever. He was on the blacklist too, but after like he started reaching out to me and we started becoming like more and more cool or whatever, like I didn't have a problem with it now. But in I, college, I, I in college, I in college, I definitely did. In college, I definitely did. Oh, I'm at the house. He putting music on my iPad. What? 
But not iPad. iPod. You put music on my iPod. I'm like, yo, son, it's like 12 in the morning. What are you talking about right now? And I called that nigga. I'm like, hey, bro, stop fucking playing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, don't sleep on a girl next door. I guess that's the moral of this story. What you talking about? One girl next door. You, you know, about? like in movies, the girl next door, like she's unassuming and then she becomes assumed. Oh. Oh, yeah. I, I said that. That I know. I'm, I'm wrapping that, up the... That your, your should be sneaking up on folks. That's because the aura is felt first. You know what I'm saying? Just being pretty is like a bonus, but just chill. All right. Bye. I holler. You in here talking, I talk, you holler.